time is it? And then put the other one further Damn. back. And I got all this jewelry on it, no watch. I got grills, I got rings, I got bracelets. What time is it though? What time is it? What time is it? Hey, you got the time? You got the time? Damn! <laughs> ben, why are you wearing two, <laughs> two time zones? Vegas with Impact Wrestling and today I'll be working out with Jake something who is warming his muscles up and we're doing chest because that's all I do ever at the gym so today another chest workout <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever have like a set plan. I just kind of go and see what feels good. Okay. So I'm gonna do some bench press. Yep. I'm gonna attempt to be jacked by like Jake. I don't usually count any of the warm up sets, so this is like the first actual set. This is the first actual set? Yes. So the two plates and a 25 doesn't even count? No. Yeah. Tú ya no sabes lo que pasa Mirando la ola Pero tranqui que aquí está en mi casa Aquí hay masa Puro fuego me dicen grasa Está escasa Está leve el tesoro de pasa Hakeem Zane A.K.A. Rohit Raju A.K.A. The Mocha Skin Manimal Baby He's got like seven monikers He's gonna tell us what to do for triceps So this is actually a dual workout Bet, so we're gonna do skull crushers And we're gonna- Are you allowed to say bet when you're 46? I'm gonna look for a machine. Oh, I think they got us here. We're gonna find a machine and then use cables. How are we gonna find one? There's nothing. Oh, she's right side. Right side. He's hating his life behind you. One finger. It's so easy. One finger is all I need. Body guide extravaganza. Be there. <laughs> Sure. Look at this shirt! Look at the pack <laughs> what about your muscles though? <laughs> okay, relax, bro. You know <laughs> Start it up! Say something funny. Something funny? Thank you. Is that a spinner? Yes, it is. Can I spin it? Please do. <laughs> Taking it back to 2002. <laughs> the big spinner, actually a little spinner. Yeah. All right. Around the big neck, actually a little neck. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got one of the best bods in the biz. Uh, but I'm not on the body guy. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Wow, look what you did. Look, Damn. Look, he admitted it. He admitted it on camera. He's Jack. I can't lie. He's Jack. Look at that. The angles, brother. <laughs> yeah, I know how to work those too. <laughs> Vegas 
treating you so far? I mean, I've only been here for half a day. Have you won any money? No, I'm not a gambler. Do I look like a degenerate to you? Don't answer that. Have you been gambling? Why, why would I gamble? I'm too, I'm too busy at the gym with Jack. Okay, now I know you're pulling around. Hey, come on down. How you doing? Wait, what? You're gonna go tonight to the gym? You wanna go anything? No, I already went this morning. You're not cool. Yes, I did. Show me photo. Show me video. You know what? I'm gonna turn this vlog off right now and show you. All right, let's see. All right, turn Whoa! The look at the track suits! Every time I get to one, I need that. That is awesome! All right, we're here day two, Vegas Impact Wrestling. Still on East Coast time, so I'm a little blown up. Trying to get a little workout in, but... Oh my God! I usually, I'm the one holding the camera, running around, kind of just like filming a bunch of stuff. But I wanted to tell you a story and get your reaction on camera, so it's a little different <laughs> for my vlog. Uh, as a kid, growing up, I know wrestlers hate hearing that, but I only owned one VHS, yeah, yeah, WrestleMania yeah. 14. Oh, yeah. you and The Rock. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. And when you ended up turning the decision of the match, like you just kept punishing everyone, the refs, The Rock, and you put him in the ankle lock, and he's bleeding from the mouth. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen in pro wrestling. My sister would used to watch it with us, and she would literally leave the room because of how like intense it was. He's getting taken out on the stretcher. You're like, nah, I'm not done. Like that was like, because I've had to watch the tape a million times. That's right. all I could do to watch wrestling. Well, so. the funny thing about that, and it's not funny, was that was back in the Attitude Era. Yeah, yeah. And we went after one another. And Rock went after me. I went after him. And, you know, we all understood going in the ring that we were trying to do something special. We wanted yeah. to change the landscape of pro wrestling from being a, 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 a you know, I don't know, a talent show or a, a, a flipping your hair back and, 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 and walking pretty and looking pretty yeah, to yeah. just rough and tough. So Rock beat the hell out of me. And I turned around and beat the hell out of The Rock. Same with, with Stone Cold, same with Shawn Michaels. All those guys we got in there with, man, and the matches we had with Vader. It was a real deal. So when I was coughing up blood, that was no joke. Yeah. I mean, we all, during that time, left our soul and our sweat and our blood in that ring in order for us to come out with that product that we know today as the Attitude Era. Wait, wait, so that wasn't a blood capsule? Oh, hell no. Oh, damn! No. I, I was literally talking to my no. buddy earlier. I was like, well, it had to be. I'm like, he, he's like, has internal bleeding from the ankle lock. I don't know how the no, anatomy works as it, a child. No, I'm so telling like, you, we up. tear lungs. I did the same thing where I was coughing up blood, taking a slam because I had a tear in my lung. It, which is a little like a little paper cut or a tear in your lung from getting slammed so hard yeah, yeah. that you would blood would start leaking in. And if you did it enough times, it would stay open and you would drown, right? But staying away from it and letting it heal up, you know, it goes away. But that happens more times than people think when you see somebody and they think it's a capsule, it's a tear. It means the guy's been slammed so hard or that he got kicked somewhere in the match where that started to leak into his lungs and he started coughing up blood. That was no capsule, man. We didn't do that during the Attitude Era. The stuff we did, when we took the, the things on the pole and we were bleeding from there, there wasn't blades, man. We did it the hard way and that's by hitting it hard with ourselves on a pole to bust it open. Yeah, like that chair when you're on your knees. Yeah, hey, <laughs> tell me that was a capsule. What kind of capsule would we use for a chair to the face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like insane. And like when I started coming out on the indies, it was very popular to have kick pads, trunks, Hurricane Rana's, Inseguris. Right. You were the first cool independent wrestler before it was even right. cool. Right. Then we would always be like, hey, we going in the danger zone this weekend or what? So. That's right, snap, crackle, and pop. It's yeah. time to, to bring that attitude out, man. And yeah, it was, so it was fun. And now that where we're at right now and being here at Impact, and I've said this many times, hey, you like been it I love it here. It has that feel like when we were first turning um, WWF back into something important because WCW was killing them, all the big stars went away, and then all of a sudden this thing called the Attitude Era, which we didn't know at the time, started to develop when I started getting in there, the Stone Cold Chains, drink beers, flipping people off, the rock with the, and smell what the rock is cooking, uh, the ankle lock, the world's most dangerous, man, all these different attitudes that came in, it wasn't about flipping your hair back and doing pretty little moves, it was about hardcore wrestling, and so for that to be where it's at now, being here at Impact, I get that feel like the guys that were working here all have that same kind of mentality where everybody's out there trying to put on good matches, solid matches yeah. that is not about a clothesline and hit the ropes and duck and leapfrog and a hip toss. It's about 
real stuff, double leg takedowns, arm bars, chokes, slams, kicks, you name it. Hurry Dives honest. over the top, top rope. rope. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, Ken, thank you, man. For I real. It, Dude, I like having you in the locker room, like all the boys say, like it's awesome. Yeah. No, I appreciate yeah, yeah, that, man. It's great. Uh, I'm just, I'm blessed to be able to uh, still be doing it and be with a bunch of great guys in there. Like I said, it's when you first come in, I was a little standoffish. Um, but man, I, I'm feeling it, man. I think there's something special there. We keep moving in the right direction and keep doing the things that I see happening out there in the ring. Man, we're, it, it won't be another two, three years, man. We're going to be right high. Yeah. And I'm going to do a little segue here. You know what else he's blessed to have? A great body. Look how jacked he is. <laughs> Let's throw to Chris Van Vliet when he talks about the body guy extravaganza. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See yourself in the reflection? I mean, you can. Oh, you're already rolling. Yeah. I Extra content. The longer the better. You know watch time. Things you taught me. All right. Take 53. Yeah, okay. And... <sighs> oh, you're still rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. April 3rd. What? Tampa, Florida. The Body Guy Extravaganza. And yes, CVV Chris Van Vliet is going to be there. Apparently, Ethan Page thinks I'm a body guy. I do. I think he's a body guy because he sent me photos of him showing off his abdominal muscles. He looks pretty jacked. I don't know. Do I? He's have like walking on a bit. Whoa! Relax. I'll change Kinda. the contrast on that. Make those pop. Thank you. <laughs> In reality, though, even though it's the body guy extravaganza, I will be the guy in the center of the ring, exuberantly expressing the names and weights of the men and women in stretchy pants. What's uh, exuberant? I don't know. It's a word, right? Yeah, but what does it mean? Uh, it means. Uh, Overly excited. Oh, perfect. I this love it. This is my wrestling promo. I love it. Okay, keep my going. My first ever wrestling promo. Keep going. You're screwing it up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you're keep pacing like a wrestler. This yes, is sorry. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Keep I got you. Third. Oh, some Monty Brown there. I'm into this. Tampa, Florida. Body guy. Extravaganza. All right, tell him to buy tickets at least. Uh, buy tickets. I'll be there. Um, I imagine you aren't coming to see me. They are. That's why I asked you. Because really? he's famous! Check out his YouTube channel! Here's the interesting thing though. <laughs> Ever since you announced that I was going to be on the show, everyone's thinking, who will Chris Van Vliet wrestle at the Body Guy Extravaganza? And if you're a fan yeah. of Chris Van Vliet, you have to talk in the third person when yeah, you're yeah, wrestling yeah, yeah. promo. Because we both love Dwayne. If you're a fan of me, or you're aware of me at all, you know that I am a trained wrestler. So anything could happen. Mm. I wonder who's in charge of that show. Huh. It's weird. Anything else you want to say? I guess we'll see what happens April 3rd. Buy tickets. Because I'm probably going to wrestle someone. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> now they got to buy tickets. <laughs>
So uh, what, what are you predicting? Are you a good bowler? I'm predicting uh, two gutter balls and me leaving. That's what I'm... <laughs> now who's going to beat when you or Josh? Oh, Josh. Josh is a natural athlete. I'm just a natural <laughs> So let's go make an ass of myself. Come on, Ethan. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> That's in my my line. Hold on, hold on. You're doing great, Ross. Eight, that's okay. Alright, better than your zero. I didn't have a zero. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Not even close. 